those who become are those who never settle. They know that there is always a better and greater version. Believers, in times of adversity, remember to anchor your faith in God's unwavering love and promises. Trust in His divine plan and find strength in His presence. May this message serve as a source of encouragement and reaffirm your unshakable relationship with Him. Remain blessed as you listen. I hope you know that Jonah went to hell. Jonah didn't just stay in the belly of the fish. Jonah went to hell. Jonah began to give descriptions of the gates and those in chains and in hell. So hell is a spirit. The Bible says that at the judgment, when the sea will give up all those that died in it. 666 is not just something people will receive on their head and their hand. 6666 is the number of a man. Are you listening to me? One is the number of unity. Two is the number of witness. Three is the number of establishing a thing. And then it's also the number of trinity. Four is the operation of the Holy Spirit. Five is the number of grace and mercy. Six is the number of a man. Seven is the number of perfection. Eight is the number of new beginnings. Are you following me now? So, 666 is Satan trying to mimic the operation of God. The first six stands for Satan who wants to be the father himself. The second six stands for the Antichrist. The Antichrist is both a system and a person. The Antichrist government started at the birth of Cain. And Cain departed from the presence of God. And built a city, naming it after his son Enoch. The same spirit of the Antichrist followed Nimrod. And Nimrod said, let's build a city whose tower will reach the heaven. The same spirit was upon Nebuchadnezzar. And he built Babylon. The same spirit was upon Jezebel and Ahaz. The same spirit was upon Herod. The same spirit was upon Herod in the book of Acts. And the same spirit is what is explained in the book of Revelation. The mystery Babylon. So there is the Antichrist as a system. But there is the Antichrist as a person. And that person is the one who tries to mimic Jesus. When you read the book of Revelation, it tells us that the Antichrist will not have anything to do with women because Jesus did not marry. The Antichrist will die and he will come back to life. Power will be given to him. The dragon will give him power. Tell me something about Satan. Satan is a spirit. One of the fallen angels now fallen. Are you listening to me? He is falling. See after me, Satan is falling. There are certain attributes of Satan I would want you to know even as we start. Number one, Satan is not omnipotent. In fact, let me put it this way. There are three attributes that make God, God all by himself. Number one, he is omnipotent. The word omni means all. Potent means ability. All powerful. Omnipotent. The, number two, he is omniscient. Omniscient means all-knowing. All-knowing. He knows all things. Number three, he's omnipresent. The psalmist said, where can we hide from your presence? Omnipresent means he's everywhere. Whoever can possess these three attributes at any given time is called God. Whoever at any given time can be omnipotent, omnipresent, omniscient, God. This is what Satan cannot be everywhere at the same time. Are you listening to me? For instance, he's not here. Are you listening to me? So, don't just sit in that fear and say, is Satan? No. Satan is not everywhere. He cannot be everywhere at the same time. Because when he went to God in the book of Job, God asked him, he said, ah, from where are you coming? He said, what? From going to and fro. But you never hear God saying going to and fro. It's only his eyes that go to and fro. He's called Alpha Omega. The word and is an error in the translation. It's not and Omega. Alpha Omega. That means there is nothing called future in his presence. Everything lays bare. It's not called Alpha and Omega. Alpha is the first of the Hebrew letters. Omega is the, is the last. So it says he's the first and the last. Alpha Omega. Hallelujah. So Satan manifests with different spirits, different manifestations of spirits. Hallelujah. And there are many of them. 
Death is one of them. Death is not a phenomenon. Death is a spirit. Are you listening to me? The Bible says that there were four riders upon the horse in the book of Revelation. And it said one of them held a pair of balances and the name of that spirit is death. So it's a spirit. Hell is a spirit for instance. Hell is not just a location. I've told you hell is in the earth. Hell is right at the center of the earth. Hell lies in the shape of a man and enlarges itself every time. The psalm is seeing this by revelation. He said hell enlarges itself. He said, I will go down to the pit where their worm dieth not. Hallelujah. I hope you know that Jonah went to hell. Jonah didn't just stay in the belly of the fish. Jonah went to hell. Jonah began to give descriptions of the gates and those in chains and in hell. So hell is a spirit. The Bible says that at the judgment when the sea will give up all those that died in it death the last spirit that will be destroyed is death he said hell death and the grave will be cast into the lake of fire no man is in the lake of fire right now the lake of fire is part of god's kingdom he designed the lake of fire for the punishment of satan so all those that have died and gone to hell have not started the punishment it is when satan is officially taken to hell that their punishment will start reading because every time we, we call it in theology the doctrine of interpenetration, how two people can become one. That's the mystery of marriage. Wherefore shall a man leave his what? Father and mother and cleave to his wife, and they two shall become what? One. That's how the bride and the spirit, the church and the Holy Ghost became one. He that is joined to Christ is what? One spirit. Now he that is joined to Satan is also one spirit. Are you listening to me? He that is joined to Satan is one spirit. So how does Satan carry out all his activities? He tries to mimic the operation of the Trinity because the administrative structure of heaven is such that the Father is always the initiator. The Word is the one who speaks things into being. The Holy Spirit is the Pentecostal arm of the Trinity. He's the one who makes things happen. That's why in Genesis chapter 1 verse 2, he was the first of the deity to be revealed and the spirit of god hovered round the face of the waters now satan also tries to mimic the operational organogram of heaven by trying to create what we know as 666 666 is not just something people will receive on their head and their hand 6666 is the number of a man are you listening to me one is the number of unity two is the number of witness three is the number of establishing a thing and then it's also the number of trinity. Four is the operation of the Holy Spirit. Five is the number of grace and mercy. Six is the number of a man. Seven is the number of perfection. Eight is the number of new beginnings. I follow me now. So 666 is Satan trying to mimic the operation of God. The first six stands for Satan who wants to be the father himself. The second six stands for the Antichrist. The Antichrist is both a system and a person. The Antichrist government started at the birth of Cain. And Cain departed from the presence of God. And built a city, naming it after his son Enoch. The same spirit of the Antichrist followed Nimrod. And Nimrod said, let's build a city whose tower will reach the heaven. The same spirit was upon Nebuchadnezzar. And he built Babylon. The same spirit was upon Jezebel and Ahaz. The same spirit was upon Herod. The same spirit was upon Herod in the book of Acts. And the same spirit is what is explained in the book of Revelation. The mystery Babylon.